All right, guys, you know, there's a couple of clues you can always use when you're trying to figure out who are we with, what are we talking about, and I've got two here. We're in the back of a car, and I've got our transportation expert, Barry. How you doing, man? Good to see you again. Uh, good to see you as well. So we must be talking transportation. Absolutely. Tell me, Dr. Obvious, but uh, so tell me what we have here, because this looks like a rocking car that I might want to have, but regardless of what the car is, I'm guessing that the technology is what we want to really talk about. It really is the key. So this year's theme is there's never been a better time to connect the vehicle to the roadways. It's really about building those automated systems to build, to begin the future of driverless vehicle systems. Okay. So in the vehicle here, we have our router, which is the routing capability that will go built into the automobile, as well as dedicated short range communications for vehicle to vehicle, vehicle to infrastructure communications. Okay. And then of course we have our service provider overlay for those more, um, uh, passenger related services that you want to deliver like mapping, updates to Pandora, nice. Spotify, things like that. So it's all combined in one system and then it speaks to the infrastructure. So okay. vehicle to vehicle so that you can connect the, the two together, pull the information from those. Of course you need to secure that information and then you want to be able to build data analytics platforms, data broker platforms to be able to enable those systems. Okay. And then finally, we have to be able to analyze that data, right? Okay. We need to be able to pull these in in a way that we can create machine learning and new capabilities that we haven't had in the past. Excellent, so obviously things get smarter the more data we can apply to the situation. You know, we, we're coming to a point where we can actually begin to see how the cars together may be smarter than we ever could be as individuals, because you Absolutely. see how many traffic accidents are just really idiotic or reactionary things, and they take forever to kind of bleed out of a system uh, when you talk about traffic management. But uh, here, you guys are interacting with traffic lights where decisions are being made. I know that happens with emergency services now, but there's going to become a time when, when obviously you're talking about the infrastructure is more efficiently dealing with the reality of what it is experiencing uh, because it's using better data when our cars can contribute. So we've really got that foundation being laid out here. Is that a, a Absolutely. good way to put it? Absolutely, so we can start doing some of that today uh, with the data in motion, with some of the products that we have, our yeah. routing capabilities, switching capabilities, helping automotive manufacturers to converge their infrastructure, move away from the proprietary protocols they've been using today so they can use more common IP infrastructure in their vehicles. So uh, you've got a map behind me that's kind of showing, is that basically just part of the demonstration showing uh, how this stuff interacts and how we visualize the data? Absolutely, so it's a great visualization tool from our user experience visualization team. And really what it's looking at is showing the ability to take these data broker platforms and de deliver this data in meaningful ways for the consumer in the vehicle, for the traffic management operations coordinator, mm -hmm. for the automobile manufacturer or their tier one suppliers because everybody needs a different piece of this data yeah. for a different utilization. So let me ask you just before we finish up, uh, there's been a ton of changes with IoT, we're moving very fast, I want to make sure we didn't miss anything. Um, what else do we need to know? Oh, that's a great question, thank you. So I, I failed to mention, uh, of course, our Jasper acquisition, oh, which yeah. just gives us another huge piece in this, right? Because they've already connected to over 800, 8 million automobiles. The power of the There's a billion of automobiles in the world today, so you can imagine how much growth opportunity we have just in the, in the connecting of the, all the automobiles that exist today. Oh, that's a good one. So if anybody is not at the show, obviously if they're here, we want them to come by and take a look at the car, uh, play with how this stuff is interacting and get a chance to talk to you and the other experts that you have here as well. But if they're not, they're watching remotely, where do we go online for this? So Cisco's uh, digital transportation community. Okay. Uh, you, can, you can find it on the external webpage as well as on the internal webpage. Perfect. Hey man, always have so much good fun to talking again, to you. Rob. Thank you so much, guys. Thank come you. Come check it out.